Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. This video is about instant wire. Normally, uh, to extend the signal, you want to use a repeater or a torch, but there's other ways of extending a signal. For instance, you could use this piston uh, instant wire, which is commonly used in very big uh, redstone computers and stuff and crazy stuff. Basically, if you pay attention to the redstone dust, one click instantly turns it off. And as you can see, it travels quite a distance, and you could expand this infinitely um, as long as it remains in the loaded chunks. But um, yeah, the thing is, this uses a lot of pistons, so it's quite resource heavy. Now, if you're in creative, that doesn't really matter. But the other thing that's sort of a big deal, in my opinion, is that pistons cause a lot of lag because of the yeah, the updating and the movement and stuff. Um, and furthermore, the signal you get from this setup is actually pretty shitty in a way. Um, because it's not long enough to cause uh, a block to remain after T flip flop went back and forth. So, it yeah, y you have to still convert it, so that gives a little more delay. Um, so I don't really like it, that's also why I never used it. Um, but then that brings me to this contraption, which is basically 2,000 block circuit of my instant wire. And I have a little setup here, lever and um, a uh, lamp, and one click, and it sends the signal over 2,000 blocks and turns on the lamp, and one click, and it turns it off. Now you might be thinking, I've got redstone stuff underneath here, but I don't, it's all just... Um, flat surface in mid-air. Um, what I've basically done is I've used the silent block update detector that got sent to me on sharing is caring and I just hooked up a whole bunch of them uh, and causing one to update the next one which makes it very simple, ridiculously simple and also very resource friendly. Um, Basically, I could also activate the lamp by placing a block here and then removing it because this is still a block update detector. But now, in this case, it can just use the lever. And the nice part about this thing is that the signal you eventually get is one tick. So you could make a piston T flip flop, which I've basically done here. Beneath here is just uh, the silent block update detector. Hook up a piston to it and you get your T flip flop. But it gets better because, say I were to hook up a button to this circuit, then the circuit would still act like it was a normal button. So one click puts the light on for a couple of seconds and then turns it back off. I think the signal length gets uh, extended by one tick or something. Um, you could also hook, this, hook other pulses up to this and it would just uh, use those pulses. You, you don't think you can use one tick pulses though, or maybe you can, not sure, I haven't tested it. still still sort of experimenting with it um, also sort of as a proof because uh, I don't know this might seem weird but I just want to show that um, all these things all these redstone things update at the same time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a lever and you have to play close attention to those three pistons as you can see, they all extend at the same time, and they also all retract at the same time. So, this is basically the circuit. There are some constraints, though. Um, the the pistonless block update detector only works if you, you orientate the torch towards either FS2 or FS0. Um, still isn't much of a deal, though, because you could still uh, work your way around it with all the white circuits. I mean, this white circuit can zigzag when whatever you want um, and then next up what I found is um, the the signal activating the glowstone has to come from either F3 or F1 um, so in this length it, it's nice and I don't know this is probably not the best way to set it up and I'm still experimenting with it um, but overall, it is basically a block update detector, then sending the signal as far as you can, leaving a little gap, um, and this gap, even though there's nothing here, the, the space, the air block, does get updated by the redstone firing inside it, uh, which causes the little update, 
like here. So we have a silent, non-laggy, resource-friendly, extremely simple, uh, easy to use, wireless, instant wireless, why are we saying wireless? Instant redstone signal. So yeah, I'm very happy about it and I'm definitely going to use it in my next build and I hope you guys will find some good uses for this as well. I don't know. There's some pretty nice stuff. So guys, thanks for watching. Like always, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, be sure to like this video and I will see you all later. Bye bye.